Nick Hilkins, uh, just come out of White Hart Lane, West Ham Fan TV. Done work at the training station now, we've got moved on as per usual. Um, pretty poor result, really. Poor performance, poor result. We're fucked. We are completely and utterly fucked. Um, I can't believe that we keep going into games in the position we're in and approaching games like that. It, it, it's criminal and, and something has to change. Um, I thought the first half, like you just said, we battled well. We defended very well. We, we kept it tight. We contained them. I thought we started all right. We <laughs> 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 just fight. Like, no, did it. Typical, in typical David Moyes fashion, which has been the case so many times this season, we sat back when we didn't need to sit back and eventually the, the inevitable happened. Uh, subs too late. Uh, 67th minute, he makes a sub, and then we go two 0 down. So what's the fuck? I think point? I think I think one of the main points what I've I've come across this season, Don, is we 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 fail to exploit weaknesses, and we've got the players to to, to test the goalkeeper, the, the you know the standing goalkeeper that conceded four at Leicester mm. last week, to, to you know yeah. to run the midfield, but we just don't do that. We had one shot on target against him, and he, he's a good save to be fair because Bowen was half round him, weren't he? But like. I thought when we when I saw three midfielders, I thought, you know what, we might have a game plan here. And yet it's the same game plan every week. Defend, 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 just hoof it out to Antonio and hope. And hope. How Antonio lasted sixty seven minutes is beyond me. Um we're, we're just banging shit. We're banging shit. The results were a disaster for us yesterday. Um the performances I've seen this season, I don't think I I can't look back at one game this season and think we won convincingly, we played really well. I just can't, because I think we're just a terrible, terrible side and there's nothing that's telling me that we're going to get out of it. There's really not. Like, like, and what evidence are we going to get out of this battle? Something has to change. I think we've waited too long to pull the trigger for Moyes. I don't think there's anyone out there we can realistically get in. I mean, as the weeks go by, Dom, the window of opportunity for getting a, a, a manager that sort of can get you out of this shit, it, it goes and it diminishes. And, no, no decent manager now is going to take this job on. You know what it is? That Everton win was probably the worst thing that could have happened to us. Because if we lost that game, he would definitely have gone. And we could have got Sean Dyche in instead and we could have started to rebuild. We, we, we just, we're, we're that bad, we can't do the basics. We, we, we struggle to make the pass. I can't believe how many times we give the ball away, how many times we miss the ball. It's a shame because, like I said, in the first half, I thought we looked... Organised. I thought we did well. I thought we were, you know, being able to nullify them. But that's the that's the thing. They're not all that Tottenham. They were they were struggling to break us down. It took just it, it, it took lack of concentration from us for them to get. I mean, you're letting Emerson Royale score. They love him so much. They call him Chicken Royale. But the problem is though, Tottenham might not might not be all that. We're not all that. Mm. We're 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 a bad bad side, and we're 18th for a reason because we are one of the worst teams in the league, and we have been all season. And there's no hiding that. If we don't win that Forest right. game next week, what happens? We go. There's no way back. He 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 might he he probably won't go because the the, the ball are never you know the ball are never fucking active when it comes to shit like this. If we don't win that Forest game, they might as well stick a red eye next to our name mm. because these are the games you have to win. And if we if we can't get a win against a side down there with us, then. Where, 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 where's, where's the wins going to come from? Because after that we've got Brighton, and then who we got after that? FA Cup, have yeah, we? Yeah. And then we got, like, you know, like we've got still, we still got to play the top eight, have we? We still got to play still the top eight. Compete in Europe yeah. as well. And compete in Europe. It's, it's, it's going to be a very, very bumpy ride. And I'll be honest with you, mate, on this evidence, on the performances I've seen, the wins, five wins all season, two wins in 12. There's nothing to suggest to me that we're going to get out of it. And I'm afraid people have just got to stop trying to come up with false positivity, stop telling, having a go at people for calling out the facts and see it for what it is because it's not helping anyone. Yeah. It's really not. These false leads about us turning the corner because we drew two games against two out of form sides. The Chelsea one, we should have gone for on one. That, that's two points dropped. Fucking Southampton have beaten them twice this season. Why can't we do that? Yeah. Because we're too passive, we're too negative, we don't go, go for games. Scared of the name. And and that and that was the case today, and we're 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 in even more shit now. Thank you, mate. No worries. Cheers, pal.